Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today we have a special treat as I will be breaking out my secret stash of this beautiful marbled red cedar. Take a look at that stuff. Now obviously we got to do a little trim work on here. Um, a lot of the sapwood's pretty well spalted, but let's see what we can do with it.
little past this flat spot here. Get past that tear out. That is gorgeous. general shape. I'm gonna hit this outside with some 40 grit to see if I can take care of uh, feathering. And we'll get her set up to put it in the chuck. Start hollowing. Sanding sealer's about dried up. Um, we're not going to be working on the outside too much just yet. I'm going to get this off the face plate, flipped around on the chuck, and we can start doing some hollowing. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Anybody interested in some red cedar confetti? Let me know you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I think that's pretty good for a rough hollowing. Even if so we'll come back in with uh, a radius scraper. See if we can't finish this up. Sky is falling down. Pumping a 
bottom here was straight right out some. And I think we're ready to sand this up. Much gooder. All right, let's send this guy out. Encapsulating it in this resin, especially this stuff, is kind of nice because you know, it's food safe, it's uh, BPA free, you can wash it, you don't have to worry about the wood getting saturated, it's swelling, so it's a usable piece, it doesn't have to be something that sits on a shelf. Some of you might notice I went and picked up some lights, so I will be simultaneously sun tanning while we work. Um, got a good seal coat on this bowl. I'm gonna get it back on the lathe, and we're just gonna do a little bit of light sanding and level down this resin, and uh, get it ready for another coat. Let's get to it. Good enough.
Okay, so we got our stamp in there. Not quite as dark as I wanted it to be. I'm still getting the hang of this brand, um, but I didn't want to double stamp it and make it look even worse. So we're just gonna mark this up. This is going to be the number. And uh, we'll go ahead and get some resin mixed up, get this filled up, and get it ready for finishing. Buffed out pretty well. Let's get it cleaned up. See what we got. All right, guys, we got one more in the books. Let's check it out. This red cedar, is some really amazing stuff, and it's a treat to turn. Nice and easy to cut. It's just absolutely beautiful stuff. And this one in particular, this marbling. Ugh. Yeah, that's really neat stuff. I'll leave some stills at the end. You guys can check it out a little further, in a little more detail. But uh, yeah, another one on the books. And time to get started with the next one. I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. Uh, if you do, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.